Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna tore his ACL last July and is on track for a full recovery for a three and a half seasons now. Ronald Acuna Jr. has played an energetic, charismatic, and dynamic brand of baseball that has helped to reinvigorate both this fan base here in Braves country and fans across the baseball landscape. At times during this underwhelming season for the Braves, seeing him come to the plate was must-see TV. It was even hard to look away when he was in the outfield, as his work with the glove and his rocket cannon of an arm made it so that very few bass runners were safe to roam the base paths. Simply put, Ronald Acuna Jr has already become one of the premier players to put on a Braves uniform during their time in Atlanta, and he's still got plenty more left to offer before he's done with the Braves. With that being said, it's a gigantic bummer to see that he's suffered a torn ACL and will be out for the remainder of this season. Shoot, to say that it's a bummer is a mass understatement. It just really sucks and it's yet another massive blow in a season that's been full of them for this year's Braves team. To go from being one win away from winning a pennant in 2020 to being in a situation where the Braves have lost their recently signed left fielder due to deplorable conduct. Their presumptive starting center fielder turned out to not be ready for the show just quite yet. Then they lost their MVP caliber right fielder to a serious injury in addition to losing their starting catcher for months while also losing their best starting pitcher to injury for the second season in a row. It's a lot for anybody to handle much less for a team that was so close to reaching the proverbial promised land not too long ago. It's also a reminder that championship windows are about as fragile as an actual window, for all the promise and talent that a team can have. Nobody is immune to bad luck and this year's Braves are going to go down as a case study when it comes to that particular theory. While there's still a chance that things could somehow magically get better for the Braves from here on out, I'd say that those chances have taken a dramatic hit following Acuna's injury. However, the Braves are still fighting and there's actually been talk of the Braves potentially being buyers at the trade deadline now that there's been a glimmer of hope that the team could actually get over .500 and start to make this NL East race interesting. They're now in desperate need to replace Acuna's production and it would be mighty tempting to see what the trade market has to offer going forward. With that being said, Atlanta's schedule immediately after the break is brutal and now they're going to have to navigate that stretch without one of the best players in all of baseball. I'm no insider by any stretch of the imagination, but I honestly can't legitimately envision a scenario where the Braves should try to buy at the deadline. They've been reluctant to dip into their prospect pool when they've had a surefire shot at the postseason, so it would be shocking if they did so as a team that's going into the latter stage of the season in a worse position than they've been in a few years. I'd say it's more likely that they attempt a mini-reset than it is that the Braves try to go in on strengthening a team that is struggling like they are right now. It's been tough to watch and tough to follow and both of those things are about to get tougher. As painful as it is to think of watching Braves baseball without the joy of seeing Acuna out there having fun, I think the Braves may just stand pat and ride this season out with who they've got in the majors and anybody who they feel like seeing from the rest of the organization. That probably spells doom for this season but at this rate, the chances of 2021 being a season that met expectations for the Braves were already about as slim as a string of spaghetti. So there's really no reason to mortgage the future when they can just take the L on this season, play out the string and finish as strong as they can while taking the offseason to regroup and reflect on the avalanche of issues that helped tank this season for them. It's no fun to talk about. Just like it was no fun seeing Ronald Acuna go down for the season this weekend, the good news is that assuming he makes a full recovery and there are no setbacks, we shouldn't see too much of a drop-off for Acuna once he returns. He'll probably sit out more games than usual just to make sure he's not overtaxing the knee but this also isn't a death sentence on his career. The Braves are going to begin their quest to repeat as World Series champions on Thursday. When they face the Reds at home, Freddie Freeman will be perhaps the most notable absence from the lineup as the banner is hoisted at Truist Park. But there will be another key player from the team that will also be out, Ronald Acuna Jr who missed the second half of last season with a torn ACL, will begin the 2022 season on the 10-day injured list as he continues to work his way back from the injury, especially without Freeman. Acuna will be the most important player in the lineup for Atlanta in 2022 as they look to win the title again. How long will he be out of the team's lineup? The Sporting News takes a look. Ronald Acuna Jr. Injury Timeline Back on July 10th last year Acuna made a leaping attempt to try and catch a line drive from Marlins second baseman Jazz Kishon. He fell to the ground awkwardly and needed to be helped off the field. It was revealed after the game that Acuna had torn the ACL in his right leg. 
and he immediately underwent surgery to repair his knee. At the time of his injury, he had slashed 0.283 divided by 0.394 divided by 0.596 with 24 home runs and 17 stolen bases in 82 games. At the time, it was just reported that his season was over. During the offseason, Acuna had been rehabbing in Los Angeles. According to MLB.com, when could Ronald Acuna Jr. return from injury? Acuna is beginning the season on the 10-day injured list, which leaves open the possibility of him returning early in the season. According to MLB.com, the Braves are hoping he can return to the lineup in the first week of May. Acuna had originally hoped to begin the season playing right out of the gate, but the Braves reportedly believed he would be ready for the final week of April to serve as the designated hitter exclusively. Per the MLB.com report, the plan now is for Acuna to return, in part, as a designated hitter as well as in the outfield. Allowing Acuna to do both in alternating days would keep his bat in the lineup and help ease him back into regular playing duty. He's got to go through the process. Braves manager Brian Snicker said, according to MLB.com, their timelines the doctor's half. He's doing everything. He's right where he needs to be at this point in the rehab. Everybody feels really good about where he is at. He was only a couple of days away from returning to the All-Star game as a starter and he was on track for a monster season. 40 over 40 may not have been a lock but he was surely going to take a major run at accomplishing that feat this year. Things may not have been going well for the team, but Acuna was still playing hard and passionately like they were at the top of the division again. And that wasn't going to change going forward. Let's face it. It absolutely sucks that Acuna's been robbed of the rest of this season. All this is definitely yet another black mark on a 2021 Braves season that should hopefully be running out of proverbial ink for said black marks. All we can do as fans is send love and encouragement towards Acuna's direction as he works his way back onto a baseball diamond in time for the 2022 season. The Braves are just better and more fun to watch when he's around and the game of baseball in general is better off when he's on the field doing his thing. Whether that's hitting a ball nearly 500 feet or attempting to gun down a runner at third base all the way from deep right field. It's an absolute necessity to have Ronald Acuna Jr. back on the diamond and healthy. When will that day come? I can't tell you. Hopefully it'll be by the time next season rolls around. The Braves need him and the game of baseball needs him. And here's hoping for a full recovery and a timely return for one of the most dynamic players in the sport right now. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe. See you till the next video. Thank you for watching.